Hi, we are back with the new episode of uh, Cyclets Weekend Getaway Adventure and we have named it uh, Climbing Challenge to Prasher Lake. So we have climbed up uh, to Prasher Lake from Monday and uh, this is one hell of a climb and uh, very, very difficult and uh, sometimes we have encountered gradient like 12% in route, gravel, slush, uh, tarmac, everything all together. It's a mix of climbing fun. with me uh, Vikas who is one of the very strong road rider and he is here to uh, try climbing and mountains so let's have first hand uh, information from Vikas how he felt yesterday about the climbing Abhi dekha aapne mere naam ke saath ek super rendezvous ka title laga hua hai so i love long distance riding long distance means really long distance but never encountered uh, hills in those long distances and whenever i feel like i have to go for a hill ride in a long distance ride i always used to be a little worried about it so i got this opportunity to try mountain riding and that to not on a roadie on a mtb so the experience it was hell for me at least not doing so much climbs anywhere because in gurgaon you just have gfr which is which is like baby of climbs in front of these mountains here so <clears throat> i was uh, as a, as a road rider i put on lot, lots of power to my rides from the beginning uh, as i have to you know meet certain deadlines certain timelines so that's how I, I usually start and i started here also and in within 2 kilometers i was completely exhaust, exhausted <laughs> so got a good advice from nitin to ride slow and keep your heart rate under control so that you can sustain you can last for long so did that after that some some of the turns some of the portions of the climb were really tough they were like they were looking like i'm trying i'm like i just can't be on the cycle i just have to get down but slow pedaling and the advice and fellow riders moving ahead seeing them how they're doing so was 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 managed to do those uh, those steep climbs 
I would I would really definitely recommend this this trail this trail road slash you know every kind of experience you can have these in these just in 28 kilometers which were like ultimate experience for me I would love to come back. Nitin. Nitin is a avid rider, lives in Gurgaon and uh, he rides a lot of uh, MTB as well and uh, let's hear from him what he felt about the yesterday's ride which is around 28 kilometers of uphill to Prussia. Okay, yesterday we started from Katola, came all the way up 20, 28 kilometers to this beautiful place, Parasha Lake. The overall route was uh, excellent for practicing MTB. Started with a little bit of uh, rough terrain, I mean broken tarmac and on, on the way there was some good tarmac also and last 8 or 10 kilometer was completely loose gravel or stones, very tough riding conditions but uh, very good practice ground. Weather wise a little bit hot to begin with but as we came up it turned very nice and views from many of those places was awesome. So I have Sanjay with me. Sanjay is part of our team and he's specialized in uh, search and rescue. Uh, Sanjay is also local from here and uh, from him that uh, what is the historical significance of the Parashar Lake? Hi, this is Sanjay. Uh, I'm basically from this place only. I belong to District Mandi and this is a part of uh, District Mandi. Uh, this is uh, uh, the, uh, a crater lake that's been formed uh, by some prehistoric events that might have occurred here and uh, there's a small temple earlier it was a smaller temple and in say 1806 BC, AAT, it was developed by the royal family of Mandi uh, it is uh, it belongs to one of the sages of uh, seven sub rishi uh, uh, rishi prasya it's a three tire pagoda temple and uh, People, lots of people around from around the village, they come here to express their devotion. And uh, as you can see, there is a small uh, island floating, and it keep on report, uh, rotating around uh, around the lake. It's a small uh, bulbous uh, vegetation island. It's not exactly; it doesn't has any core uh, mud or something like that into its way. So it keeps on floating.